So I'm here with Debbie, and Debbie has a Dodge Grand Caravan as well. What year is yours? 2013. 2013, and uh, she has something kind of special that I have just fallen in love with it. I would love to show you. So let's go. Look what she did to her van. She put a high top. I love it. I am seriously, seriously thinking about doing this. Before you had the top, could you sit up in this oh, yeah. as mm -hmm. well? Yeah. With this yeah, frame? Definitely could. But look at how much storage she added by having this top put on. She's got bins all the way around there. And all the way up in here. Yeah. Take out one of those bins. See how, look how long like this is. Ones. Look and at that. And behind this is another section. There's more. Yeah, it goes it all the way up there. It's all yeah, extra storage from this to. top. So you not only can stand in your van just about, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. It's pretty close. And, and, and the slope of the roof, this is the tallest place. Right? Okay. And then back here, it's a little lower. Yeah. But I'm fine because at least I can stretch my back. So yeah, you know, stretch out. You know. mm -hmm. I like your hanging baskets there. Yeah, these are those ones you get. They're in the kitchen area and they come in a set of two. Mm -hmm. I used to have these turned upside down on top of my shelf so that I could slide my stove in and then had my dishes on oh, top. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. I wanted an extra shelf back there somehow. Mm -hmm. But then I didn't need that anymore. I just downloaded, you know, just downsized. Yeah. So now they've come in handy in here. I've ordered one more fan. I really like these fans because mm -hmm. it's the lightest built in. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have one on each side. So depending on where my head is, I'll always have air or I can have double, you know, plenty of light. Yeah, and then you've got cross breeze here. I can have the fan here. on and not the light in my eyes. I can use the light. Ah, I see. Okay. And then I can get rid of some of these extra yeah. I've tried out over the years. And then you have a cover for your toilet? This is, yeah, this, like, this is one of those Reliant Hasek type uh, Ottoman. Toilet oh, okay. Around, you know, with the lid. Mm -hmm. And this is just one of those baskets that you buy to put your afghans in the living room or something. Oh! You, know, you, just, you just measure the width of the thing, it plops right down. It was a, it That is a great set, idea. And they come in pretty colors. And you know, it, it looks, just looks like a stool. It does. That you can so, sit like, on. My friend has hers right in the doorway, and she always just had her the plastic toilet there. So I told her about it. And, and it looks so pretty. I think that's a fabulous that. idea. Yeah, what store did you get that at? Amazon. Oh, it's, it was an Amazon. Maybe we could get a link for that. Okay. Yeah, there's tons of them. Yeah. I, I think they're called rope baskets or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, and... Uh, that's great. These pillows, they're all storage. Okay. So being full time, you have to be prepared for spring and summer yeah, and, and winter. I was expecting, because I thought I was going to Canada and Alaska, so I got all these warm things. And then I get to Canada, and we were camped by a lake for two weeks, and they had all these unseasonably hot temperatures. It was hot. I mean, okay. I, I never think of Canada as hot. <laughs> you know, I always think right. of snow. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And even going through Washington and Montana, it was hot, and all the way through Idaho, it was just unseasonably hot. Mm. And then I just cut across and came down by myself, the Washington, Oregon, and California coast. Oh, yeah, as far as San Diego. Okay. And um, I, uh, it, I needed to do it. I needed to find out that I could do it, find places to stay. I mainly used the iOverlander app. Mm -hmm. It worked out fine. I mean, I never felt in danger at, all, at any point. This, this has been helpful. I just made that out of a, of a bag. And okay. it just keeps the... I honestly think it's helped the temperature stay even all around instead of having those cold spots. Yeah. So, so that's worked out pretty good. Yeah. So what has been your hardest part about being full-time that maybe you didn't expect or maybe you expected well, it, but it was harder than you thought? Um, to spend... A long time by myself mm -hmm. Const constantly moving you know and that's that's when I realized that, that wasn't as not my favorite way of camping like urban stealth or sometimes I find a campground you know here and there but um, it just I don't really enjoy camping alone that much okay I, I'm not one of those ones that has to take off in the boonies for weeks at a time together. Mm -hmm. I, that's never been I enjoy people mm-hmm 
Yeah, I'm a people person too. Yeah. And, uh, Once in a while, but, it's but nice I, to be by yourself. Yeah. So, you know, do your own thing, but then to know that, you know, I can call so-and-so or yeah. I can drive over there, well, they'll and, meet and a lot me. Of people, I, can, I under, totally understand, oh, I'm going to take a week and get away and go somewhere else, but you come back to your group, you know, or something like that. And uh -huh. I've a lot of friends out here, so I have pieces, places I can go and see people. And, I think it's wonderful what Howa is doing for it, women, and actually for all. I mean, look how many people my age, mm -hmm. but the majority of the women out here are my age, mm -hmm. easily, you know, yeah. and the majority of the people out here are women, I mm -hmm. think, that, that I've met. There aren't that many men our age out okay. here compared to how many women are out here. Yeah. I think they're finding this new freedom and a safeness that they didn't think they could find, mm -hmm. you know, and because I haven't ever felt in danger. Wonderful. Even all these times by myself. Yeah, you, I mean, you seem very content and happy. This is good for me. Yeah. yeah. Let's well, take I'm a look at your bed. back. Yeah. She has a, something else that I really like that I'm going to... I told you that I'm going to steal this other idea from you. I got it from somebody else. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a little fold-down table. All right. So then, it's, during the day, simple. it serves as when you're driving, you yeah, know, it keeps all stuff. everything in there mm -hmm. instead of bungee cords. That, that, that way, too. Not on oh, that's true too. And look at that. It just folds down with and a piano adjust, hinge. And adjust, uh, yeah. And legs. I'm sorry it's so dirty, but I, I'm Adjustable legs. Desert. Look at this. How the construction I want yeah, to show. It's, simple. it's just a, a small piano hinge actually. Yeah. And then you have a look like a little bracket here. Yeah. Look at that. That is ingenious. And then you clip it up with one of these eye hooks. Mm -hmm. On each side, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I had the bigger drawers here, you know, the little 11 inch or 12 inch ones. Oh, yeah. And they were fine. But I wanted to put my chairs back here, so I went smaller. Okay. Got rid of some stuff, and then now mm -hmm. I can stack my chairs yeah. there instead of fighting with them. Because when I pull, would pull over at night, you know, trying to do the stealth thing or whatever, I wanted to do the minimum of shifting. So that totally freed me up from having to. Lift my chair up, get it out of the way, and you know. So I only have to do very few things to just hop right in the car. Everything else I can do from inside. These work great as uh, this is my trash can back here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good this idea, actually. Boxes. It's a cereal box and it yeah, opens like I've that. I've been doing that for years. Ah. This used to fit perfectly over here. So I, and that held all my Walmart bags that always fly, go flying in the wind. When okay. Door. Yeah. So I'm going to look for a smaller version to fit it somewhere else. Look how ingenious you are. You just put a little, put a little hole in there, huh? And everything's held together by fit, basically. And, you know, this is just a piece of wood that was left over of, from something. But yeah. it made a wall there, but, you know. Instead of having your cargo box up there, you lifted your roof, basically. Wanted, it all comes down to I wanted to stand up. You wanted to stand up, but... I decided I was going to stay with this vehicle, not go big or not change. So I might and you it. you added so much storage, yeah, though. That I was glad. Because some people don't here. bother having this back shelf. But that mm -hmm. was important to me for cold weather. And I have some winter gloves and hats on one side. And in the back, I... Oh, I have a... I know it's a, it's not the Biagi brand, but it was a different brand, and they fold down to next to nothing, and it's a suitcase. Oh, okay. And then I have a foldable tote bag that cramps mm -hmm. down, because I, at some point, I want to get to where I just fly home for visits, or I just, you know, instead of putting all the miles on the car and stuff. So that's oh, why I, I have see. a suitcase with me. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Oh. I have a tote bag for on the plane, you know. You're ready for anything. I'm ready for anything. And that's and that's another thing about not storing my winter clothes. You never know when the weather's going to change around here. That's true. You know, it's 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 not worth making it hard to get to. Mm-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, what else do I Oh, this this is definitely a home on wheels. My you did a wonderful bear. job yeah. of setting it up. I mean, and look at all this room you have yeah. here. You and a lot, a lot of that's space. even gonna go. I'm still working on whittling stuff out. You know. Yeah. Because I I I spent a month at my daughter's. In August of all months, August to September was hot. Mm -hmm. So, but I was whittled down. I had two storage units because I still had stuff left over from my folks. I had stuff left over from my sister. She passed away in 2020. Oh, I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, so, but I, I'm not got to be the hoarder of the holder of the stuff. So I did finally go through a lot of it. I'm down to 
three quarters of one storage unit. Mm -hmm. So it took me a month though because it was so hot I could only work two or three hours in the morning. Mm -hmm. And it was just sapping me, the, the humidity. So what do your kids think of your lifestyle? They're pretty good about it. Uh, my son was all for it, especially even in the beginning. And my daughter's only thing she said is you need to get a dog, Mom. Um. It's like, I never had a dog. Why would I get one now, you know, mm -hmm. when I only have this much room? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just don't, I didn't have pets, so I'm not missing them. Mm -hmm. But that was her thing is you just need to get a dog for safety. I think. Okay. So she sent me some recordings of her dog barking out the patio door <laughs> at the lawn guys. You know, because he was a big dog. So I, I still have those videos. I yeah. Have. And I've only had one time where I actually queued it up. Because I saw somebody wandering in a parking lot at a Walmart and didn't need it. So, mm. And there were other people there. If other people are there, I don't worry, even if I don't know them, because most people are good. Yeah. And so if you, I'd rather camp with me and five other people that I don't know and feel safe because I know the percent large, most people are good. Whereas me and one other vehicle, then they got a 50-50 chance. You know what I mean? Yes. Th th I'd rather have it be that way, you know? That's that's a good way to think about yeah. it. I, I feel the same way. Do you ever stealth cam? Yeah, I have. Like I'm in the as, city? I'm, I'm a little more self-conscious because of the panels now. But mm -hmm. I really don't know that they're that noticeable. Oh, and this is my bear. Bear trash can that I didn't get to use. I decided to bring it instead of, I was using a five gallon bucket for trash with a jammy lid. And this takes up less room. I like the size. Yeah, it's made to go on in a backpack. You actually store your food. And as you eat the food, you put your food trash in the bottom. Oh. So that the bears can't open it, theoretically. Oh, look at that. But it's, it's you get, it, yeah, it's, it's like a weave almost. Uh -huh. yeah, the airflow goes through it mm -hmm. and it just deflects the heat. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, so it's called a luminette. I have to get like maybe a link for that one. And they come in all kinds of sizes. You can buy six foot squares, you can buy 10 foot, 8 by 10. Mm -hmm. I've seen them as wide as 20 feet long. You know, I'll put this away later. So, would you say that you would mostly use it as an awning or just like as a cut, you would just put it over your clam and... Mostly I just put it over. I haven't, yeah. I haven't tried doing an awning. I don't uh -huh. have any tent poles yet. Well, you've done a great job and I want to wish you continued happiness on the road. Well, I've really enjoyed your get together. Oh, you know, I mean, I've, it's be been back. fun. It's so nice because... It's, I didn't know anybody in California that did this, and I'm finding. Whole well, bunch we're of just people. we're just kind of starting out, That's like a nice. little group here in California, and yeah. yeah. So I will definitely catch up with you at the. We're the gonna actually yard. try to start some groups in def different areas too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got some ladies interested in starting some groups. There's gonna be one in Florida. Yeah, um, no definitely, place. Liz and her friend. Um, Karen are going to start one in Colorado. So that would be nice. I haven't seen Colorado yet. Yeah, yeah. So I'd like to go visit her, at her on her land. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Been a good, you've attracted some good people. Uh, yeah. That was there it's been fun. It was very nice. I mean, yeah, it was a it was a great people. event. Yeah, and you know, I was happy to do it because there was you know some new people we did it for the new people more so than the more experienced one but i yeah. think that as we started talking thing t talking about things the more experienced people offered so much help as well yeah. you know it was very interactive well i like like even right now like if you remember something you go get it and say oh and this is what i use this for just a, odd little things yeah you know? just it, it is it's the little and things sometimes it's just what someone needed to hear about mm -hmm. yeah. and then showing everybody's van mm -hmm. you know was very inspiring yeah that was fun yeah that's really I fun because usually i'm really tongue-tied on camera mm. but i haven't been with you, you know? so that's, <laughs> that's nice so either that or i'm just not as you know yeah, yeah. it is this is how i'm living right now you know? yeah but I do like that saying about I'm not houseless. I'm not homeless, I'm houseless. There you go. But I don't want a house right now. Right, right. I really don't. I'm on a list for senior house, senior apartment at some point. But it's going to be years before they get down to me. Yeah. So I might as well be doing something else. So. There you go. Get on the list, but do something else in the yeah. meantime. Right. Don't wait. Just yeah. don't. If not now, when is my exactly, motto. Exactly, because I, I might not feel well enough in a few years, you know. Might as well do it now. Yeah. I credit you. Uh, this is wonderful. It's a pleasure meeting you, and I hope we stay in touch. Oh, thank you. <laughs>